All right, gaming fans, Gerald Clark with you here today. And uh, I just put up a video of a uh, digital scene set from ancient Rome, and I brought it from iClone into Unreal Engine. And I haven't been able to get the lighting to look the way I did in um, iClone, but it's not terrible for a game model. Uh, and I really don't know that much about Unreal Engine and setting up the lighting and stuff. So I played with a few lights and messed around. It looks like it wants me to rebuild the lighting right now. But anyway, the next thing I did is I took the standard mannequin that came with uh, the game engine, Unreal Engine. I'm at 4.17. I'm about to download 4.2. And so I brought this... Uh, scene set over and then I mapped my character over to see if I could for the first time have an avatar that walks through uh, any model that I'm able to develop and create digitally so let's play this and see what it does hopefully I got all the uh, error messages and things off the window let's see what happens okay so we didn't do a great job on the hair color but let's take a look around so you can see the ancient Roman city there. Okay. I didn't put any boundaries on the outer edge, so if we go off that edge over there, then we fall off. Okay, so let's take a look. The only motion he has right now is running, but look at the detail of the tile floor. It came through pretty well. And I brought the sun level down so I could bring some light into here without adding some point lights, even though I did add a few and I'm not sure exactly what they did. Uh, I like the shadow better anyway. So let's move forward a little bit. There's a, a little bit different flooring detail you can see there. And we can walk over here and walk right out here if we want to. Okay. Let's go take a look down over here. Get us a good look around some of the brickwork in the old city in this arch. I uh, really like the cobblestone streets. Alright, let's go look over here just real quick. Give us a good perspective view where we're at. Okay. So, we can bring this avatar back, run toward us here. Whoa, we fell off the earth. Okay. <laughs> let's start again. Okay. Now this time, let's go all the way to the end of the hallway here. Uh, an interesting piece here was this barrel I did a really nice, uh, there on the left, that I did a nice uh, rendering of as it was coming through. It looks very different than the shadows here. We need some more light, don't we? Yeah. Okay. All right, so there you go. And then uh, the hero can uh, run down the stairs to... Boop! Okay. And when he's really feeling crazy, he can do. he can even do some good uh, jumps. Let's see what he can do. Yeah. All right. One more time. Okay. Let's see what we can see around here. Well, looks like the sun's going down. We better knock this off pretty quick. So let's take one more look around. We can even go this way. Oh, got a little barrier right there. Let's run down here and go around the building this way. You see, we come back out over here where we were. Yeah, okay. So there you go. My very first third person explore a model game. It's been Gerald Clark with you. Hope you enjoyed that. And we'll talk to you later.